Here on Applause, we brought you singer-songwriters whose lyrics tell intimate stories of love and loss, groups who celebrate their cultural roots, and musicians who use their songs to comment on society. The group you're about to hear is proud to say they do none of that. I'm pleased to welcome to the show a band that just wants to have fun, the Smokin' Fez Monkeys. What this country needs is a good five cent song, one that you can whistle when you can't go wrong. And it's 20 for a dollar, you gotta get up and holler, you gotta clap your hands and stamp your feet, sing along all you really need. The Smokin' Fez Monkeys, bringing the wacky to applause. And joining me now is one monkey spokesman and banjo player, Tim Wallace. Tim, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. I, I've got to start with the name uh, because you just can't get around Smokin' Fez Monkeys. So who decided on that and, and what does it say about your band's musical attitude? Well, yeah, we have to tell you about the guy who isn't here, and that would be Mark Sharapita. It was the, the name came from him. I'm not sure what he was thinking. I think it had something to do with it. <laughs> it was a late night and a right. jug involved. <laughs> yeah, something. That, but you used to get those little ceramic monkeys that you, you lit a little cigarette and it blew smoke rings. And I think that's what we're named yeah, after. I'm those. not sure you'd have to ask the guy. And, and so what does it say about the music that you play? It pretty much says have fun, do anything you want, uh, feel free. Uh, make it fun, make it, uh, make it interesting for the audience and, and keep people involved with it. Yeah. And, and you guys get pretty involved in a, a wide range of eclectic music, but it has a kind of retro feel to it. Talk about where you find your songs. Where we find them is uh, where anybody else will. Uh, Warner Brothers cartoons would be like one source. Uh, just uh, the, being a part of the folk music scene for a long time and being exposed to a lot of a lot of old time music, and uh, oh, I I remember songs from when I was a kid, some of them. Yeah, and and you have a pretty um, wide range of instruments too. If you, you can call them instruments. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you play the banjo, but uh, but you also. Um, strap on <laughs> a lot of other things. Talk about yeah. your range in the bands. Uh, yeah, I got a, uh, a, a whistle plank, I call it, with kazoos and whistles on it. And, uh, and we play the jug. That harkens back to the old jug band days when uh, uh, these uh, poverty bands couldn't afford anything like a bass fiddle, and they, and they used the jug for, uh, for the, uh, the bass notes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we have the jingle stick, which has been through several incarnations already with this group. Uh, that I, I started it. Uh, we had uh, Ken Sharapita playing it for a while. He added some things, and now we have uh, Bill Drake playing it. He added some more things, took some things off, so it, it keeps growing and changing. <laughs> uh, and we have a portable version of it, too, that folds flat. Yikes. <laughs> I, I see merchandising coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask, though, because you mentioned band members' names, but you also have these um, on-stage personas. Um, talk about who you become on stage and, and right. why. Well, we become cartoon characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, it uh, it's, makes it a little more theatrical, and we present ourselves. I'm Bullfrog Plunkett. We have Princess Petunia and... Uh, Gnarly Snag and uh, Clam, and uh, missing today is Rattletrap Jack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and so, is there animation in your shows, or or you you are the living animation? We are the living animation. We do have a cartoon of one of our songs on our website, though. Yeah, very good. Well, uh, we're going to hear one of your songs um, here in the studio. Tell us a little bit about Codfish Ball. Codfish Ball is uh, you'll recognize the the second half of it from a Shirley Temple movie from 1938. I believe it was Captain January. And then I wrote a, an intro to it uh, in the style of the, uh, of the song. Very good. Let's listen. Come and listen to my story. It was in the days of glory At 
the bottom of the sea. The codfish wore tuxedo and the jellyfish wore gowns. The tunas in their suit suits kept on trucking all around. came in straw hats with their spats and canes to boot. The catfish wore a derby and a smartly tailored suit. The eels electrified me. She's very sleek indeed. She came with Finn and Hattie in his linen and his tweed. The orchestra is dashing in their top hats and their tails. Their music simply smashing. They've been practicing their scales. Many the moochers will be singing with the band. A chorus line of sardines will be dancing the can can. That was great fun. Thank you, Tim. Now, Akron is the band's home base, correct? Uh, this is where we have our best rehearsals, but we're we're scattered. We're all over uh, Cuyahoga County, Lorraine County, and uh, Summit County. Okay. And I was curious how you found each other. Um, did you all play in other groups before this? Uh, yeah, but it's basically through open mic nights and and parties. Uh, uh, just uh, there was uh, an open mic going on at, at one place where where we ended all all ended up in the same place and got to know each other or got reacquainted with each other. Mm -hmm. Some of us go back to uh, Red Horse Hollow back around 1980, uh, and then I hosted a few open mics and uh, Mark started showing up at my open mics with his silly songs, and then we finally decided to get together and start a group featuring our original silly songs and some old time stuff. Yeah. What's the best reaction you've had from audiences that you play for? What do you want them to do when your music is, is exactly on? Exactly what they tell us. And what, what everybody says was, is that was fun. And that's, nobody tells us how wonderful we are as musicians. <laughs> we, of course, we weren't expecting that, but we, uh, we, we do try to have a good time and try to indulge everybody else and let them have a good time, make the audience part of the show. And everybody says, that was fun. It's well, Tim, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My guest has been Tim Wallace, banjo player for the Smokin' Fez Monkeys. For the latest on the group, click over to the Applause homepage at WVIZ.org for a link to their website or call 330-668-3040 for more information.